Hi there, Claire Kennedy here. Welcome back. I love mixing photography with paint, especially highly contrasted black and white photography with areas of abstracted, textured, loose paint. I think it's that contrast between highly realistic sort of graphic image, but placed within an, an, an altered setting of sort of abstracted layers that um, is that contrast that I really like and I find really potent. And there are various uh, techniques I use to add the photography to the painting. They, they all have a different look and they all have their different pros and cons. So for example, um, this is the little mini that I made in the previous video. And for these minis, I actually print the photographic image digitally on top of the painting. And I really like this because it gives a really lovely crisp finish. You don't lose any detail from the, um, the photograph and it becomes a completely integral part of the painting. I'll be making an online course on exactly how to make a mini original like this later in the year. So sign up to my newsletter. The, there's a link in the description below if you want to be kept in the loop about that. Um, but by far the easiest way to add photography to your painting is to make a transfer. It gives a slightly different look. It's slightly more weathered, maybe not 100% perfect, but actually I think that adds to its charm and it lends itself well to, to certain subject matter. Um, and at the moment I'm working on a project using old panoramic street photography uh, where I'm enlarging tiny individual figures and then um, I'm going to be adding them to a series of paintings um, and watching them appear during the transfer process is, is really satisfying and actually quite moving. It's a bit like some ghosts from the past. Uh, reappearing. Um, so that's what I'm working on at the moment. Making a transfer is actually very easy and if you sign up to my newsletter, again the link is in the description below, um, as a special thank you I'll send you an email with my five top tips on how to achieve the perfect photo transfer which I hope you'll find helpful. So thank you for watching and here is some transferring in action.